Hi everyone. The title of today's story is The Prison of Expectations by Saif. I was woken up from my bed as a person ignorant to the world suddenly realizes that he is nothing without the very world he is ignoring. But I didn't wake up in my room where I was sleeping. I was woken up by light. Yes, it was a light. A voice came from that light. Follow me. I want to show you something. As we usually do as human beings, I asked before doing anything, "Who are you and where am I?" The voice replied, "I am your guide, and today I have been given the duty to give you the tour of a prison." I was shocked and asked again, "What?" what prison as my mind had completely shifted from gaining the knowledge of my whereabouts to knowing that what prison i am going to be taken to the voice just said you will understand yourself just follow me a force suddenly just made me follow the voice as i walked behind it i could not see anything other than the light suddenly i felt a dampness on the floor I was walking and a strange stench knocking on my nostrils and all of a sudden a gigantic door appeared before me and the door appeared to be the only thing visible in this darkness the voice in the light said this is the door to the prison you will be able to just observe what is inside so just observe and don't try to get involved a thought came to my ma- mind that why would i like to get involved with something in a prison the door was not locked so it just opened with a little push another thing that amazed me was that there were no guards in this prison i felt like i have stepped in another world of darkness beyond that door but then i realized something i can hear people breathing in a close distance from me and suddenly like a person who goes blind for a moment from the sudden light after a period of darkness i had to close my eyes with the sudden light that filled the area in front of me i saw people millions of them i was like looking at the waves of sea and there appears to be no source from where they might be originating visible from the human eyes now when i got my sight back i observed everything closely all of the people were in chains but the most amusing thing was that the chains were not hooked anywhere it seemed to me on a closer observation that every person had chains attached to some other person and that it person in turn had a chain attached to some other person and so on so all this appeared to have created a web of chains so large that it was not easy to distinguish which chain was attached to which person anymore After observing all this, I was shocked to the depth of my heart. I took a few moments to grasp what I had just seen from my eyes and then turned towards the light and asked, "Who are these people? Why are they tied like this?" The voice replied, "These are the souls of these people on earth, and this is the prison of expectations." I asked again, Why these chains and why there are no guards if this is a prison? The voice replied, "These chains are the guards and they are the expectations that a person keep from another person. Any person who doesn't expect from someone else and doesn't let the expectation of others affect him or her is free to walk away from this prison. But unfortunately, the number here is increasing day by day." people just keep each other tied they don't go themselves and they also don't let others go that's the way it is here then i asked the final question which was storming in my mind since the inception of the store why me why are you showing all this to me the voice replied we do this with many people from time to time so that the count in this prison decreases and we hope you to do the same task for us 
those were the last words that i heard from the voice coming from the light i woke up in my bed with a surprise and horror in my eyes that i think seldom people experience in their life in the morning when i was sitting on the dining table having breakfast with my family but everyone was busy in their more own morning rituals i don't know why but i kept hearing the clinking sounds of the chains every now and then the end